Kite is an AI-powered coding assistant that helps developers code smarter and faster. Today, we're announcing Kite for Spider, a popular open source Python IDE for data scientists and researchers. Kite is going to bring a vastly improved completions experience that provides smarter, better completions to more libraries. The best part of Kite is that it's free and your code stays completely private. Until now, Spider has lacked a great autocomplete, especially for completions in SciPy libraries like NumPy, Pandas, and Matplotlib. The issue on the Spider repository has 127 comments from users reporting bugs and feature requests for Spider. We saw an opportunity to support the Spider open source project by giving all Spider users the ability to use Kite's free autocomplete. When asked for community feedback, support for Kite integration was overwhelmingly positive. We worked alongside Spider's core contributors to incorporate Kite into Spider 4, which is now publicly available. Before we jump into test driving Kite in the Spider IDE, it's worth mentioning that Kite is more than just a new feature plugin for Spider. What sets Kite apart is a sophisticated engine that runs a deep learning model on your computer with every keystroke to power our ranked completions. Kite is available for Atom, PyCharm, VS Code, and Vim. Kite will automatically detect all the supported editors on your computer and download the relevant plugins during the install flow. Let's dive in and see Kite for Spider in action. If you have Kite already installed on your computer, Kite will automatically start working when you update to Spider 4. Otherwise, follow the link in the description to download Kite. There are a few small changes to make to the Spider 4 preferences to get the best experience using Kite. Head to the Preferences tab under Tools, Preferences, and then head to the Completions tab. Spider's default settings enforce a 300 millisecond lag before showing completions as you're typing. Since Kite computes its first completions within 25 milliseconds, that setting will create a suboptimal experience. We recommend changing the lag to 100 milliseconds and allowing Spider to start showing Kite's completions after only one character of a token is typed, instead of the default three. Here, we'll change the following two settings to get the optimal experience when using Kite. After we've changed these two settings, we'll head over to the Advanced tab and make sure that Kite is enabled in our editor. Now let's explore some of Kite's features in Spider. Kite uses an advanced statistical model that considers all of the open source Python code on the internet while ranking its completions by relevance so you get shown the best ones first. Kite also incorporates relevance from your script while showing you completions that are based on the modules and packages you imported above. It also has a feature called Intelligent Snippets, which can help complete full lines of code by suggesting the arguments for method or function calls using the variables you've defined previously. One of the coolest features of Kite is called Copilot, a companion coding window. When you install Kite, the Kite application is installed automatically. After launching it, it will show you relevant documentation based on your cursor location. Simply click around the file and view hundreds of thousands of pieces of documentation in the Copilot window. Thanks for watching this video showcasing Kite's AI autocomplete in the Spider IDE. Download Kite at the link in the description down below and let us know what you think in the comment section.